Okay, um, as noted, uh, symmetric encryption. Um, our, our big concern, our, our major problem, aside from various implementation details, uh, but conceptually our biggest problem is the key, managing the key, creating the key, uh, uh, ensuring that it's random. Random is so important in so many areas of cryptography. Uh, uh, distributing the key, because of course you have to share the key, and if you had a, a means of communicating uh, that was secure, uh, you know, why do you need encryption? Um, so uh, there's there's a whole uh, raft of problems associated with that, um, but basically, you know, it's it's key management, and and there are. Uh, a few, uh, you know, difficult problems, but uh, you, you know, it's it's you know that's basically the problem is is uh, key management and distribution. Um, with uh, asymmetric encryption, of course, we do not have any problem because you do not have to distribute the key. Um, there may be a, a bit of a problem in terms of encouraging people to do it right, in terms of uh, randomly generating the keys. Uh, but in any case, um, it you know making the keys larger uh, probably can handle that problem uh, very well by itself. And we've got you know uh, no particular. Um, issues uh, because we don't have to distribute the keys. We don't have to uh, uh, the, the private key stays private. Only one person has to know it. Um, now uh, and, and even, you know, in, in a sense attesting to uh, the key, the, the public key is not a problem because um, the, you know, if, if somebody puts out a wrong public key, well, no, that, I guess that does, that does compromise the situation. And that's where we come into public key infrastructure, where we um, either certify, prove, uh, uh, attest to um, the validity of the keys. And... Um, by extension, when we are using digital signatures, again, ensuring that um, the signature that is uh, created is, in fact, uh, from the or individual or organization uh, that we think it's from. It's perfectly possible uh, for a uh, bad actor to... Uh, uh, release something, you know, malware, whatever, uh, false information, misinformation, and uh, verify that, as it were, by signing it with a digital signature. If we don't know who that individual is, we, you know, the, the digital signature really doesn't tell us anything. Um, a, a fairly graphic example of this was with regard to... Um, uh, uh, secured uh, communications in in the web. Um, when you go on to sign on to an organization or, or something like that, when you're uh, exchanging um, confidential information, giving your password, whatever, it's supposed to be protected by encryption. And this little lock appears, or used to appear, on the... Uh, uh, browser window indicating that this was a secured communication and therefore safe. Well, secured communication, yes, but it didn't actually, un unless you went into public key infrastructure and had a digital signature for the digital signature and so on and so forth, uh, you, you know, it, it, bad actors could set up their own website, um, uh, call it whatever they wanted to, uh, and, and, you know, this is frequently happening these days, 
with uh, phishing scams and that sort of thing, that they will, uh, uh, you know, grab the logos from the real company, put it up on their fake website, um, and, you know, you go to sign on, uh, and now you have given your username and password to the bad guys. And now they can impersonate you, they can, you know, use your account, whatever uh, it is that they wish to do with that um, information. So, um, that is what we set out to avoid with public key infrastructure. Unfortunately, public key infrastructure and, and the support of the digital signatures behind the digital signatures behind the digital signatures... Uh, you know, we have multiple layers of this going on. Um, do uh, become very complicated very quickly. Uh, we we have to truly link the public key to the private key uh, and ensure that the party holding the private key is is identified. Um, and, and we do this generally by publishing keys as certificates, which means that they are digitally signed by something. Uh, and, and again, you know, we've covered digital signatures, so you've, you've got the, the public key. You use uh, asymmetric encryption and digital signature to sign the public key, saying, you know, this, this is the actual public key, um, and it is attested to. Now, who attests to it? Okay, that's where we start to get into um, different varieties of situations. Um, most commonly, this is dealt with through a hierarchical model, where uh, we have a certification authority. And the certification authority certifies, yes, this, this is a key. Everybody trusts the certification authority. And, and certification authorities trust each other. Um, so, you know, we've got to have that, that trust. Now, as I say, that's, that's mostly what goes on. And we're going to cover that in, in more detail. But... Um, there is the second model, and this is the web of trust that I talked about with regard to uh, Zimmerman and pretty good privacy. And uh, that uh, allows you, again, uh, these situations like signing parties. Um, you can, uh, you know, attest to uh, your, yourself, digitally sign other people's keys, and then you can have as much paranoia as you want in terms of um, how many of your trusted associates have to sign a key for you to trust it, but will automatically build that web of trust. So, we will continue on looking more at public key infrastructure.